everyone, I have a cool tool review for you. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm behind this hellhound. It's because I couldn't have made the hellhound without this tool. It's from Hotwire Foam Factory. It's an industrial hot knife and it's awesome. <laughs> I could not have made this hellhound without this tool. Uh, the 4 inch blade was my favorite to use, followed closely behind this bent round wire uh, thing that I made because when this is on here, I can carve away really fast the general outline of the Hellhound. It was a lot quicker than having to do it the uh, old way using a drywall cutter and that kind of stuff and, and no snow, <laughs> which is wonderful. Uh, this 4 inch knife I used to cut out big pieces and then all of these scales. There's got to be over 100, 200 scales on here and this allowed me to just chop them like slicing bologna out of the loaf and it was, it left a great texture too. So anyway, I got some video clips of this hellhound being built using this and thought you'd like to check it out. First off, I wanted to say that Hotwire Foam Factory contacted me after they had seen the video of the Hell Horse that I made last year and thought that their industrial hot knife would really fit the bill if I was going to do another large project like that. And uh, they'd send it to me complimentary if I'd review it for them. So I'm like, well, I happen to have a Hellhound uh, in the works, so let's give it a shot. And I loved it. Uh, this is a six inch knife that's being used to j cut out the Hellhound and it's kind of slow going. You can make it go faster if you turn up the heat, but you're going to get a lot more smoke. And uh, I have uh, smoke detectors and so I didn't know how much smoke I could have. I found out later on you can have quite a bit of smoke. I was going to town one day and I looked up and there, the whole room was just filled with smoke and no fire detectors going off, so yay. <laughs> the shapeable round blade was terrific to use to sculpt out the Hellhound. I put it into this rectangular shape and that allowed me to make pull away strips of the foam. And uh, you can be so much more creative burning away strips of foam than hacking it away with a drywall cutter <laughs> because you don't have half of that snow all over the place. Actually, you don't have much snow at all, but you do have what I call snow crystals. So let's switch over to that and I'll show you. These snow crystals are just tiny little bits of the uh, burnt plastic or, or foam or whatever that is. It's not that much of a nuisance. Uh, that that was the amount of crystals generated from that much strips of foam. Here's some time lapse to show you how you can just start going to town carving things. I tell you this industrial hot knife I couldn't have done the hellhound without it. One aspect of the blades that I didn't expect was the value of cutting really thin slices of foam. And I needed a lot of scales for that hellhound. And so I was able to just cut and cut and cut scales. It would have taken me forever to do it any other way. So yay. Um, the other thing is, is the texture that it left behind was perfect for what I thought a scale would look like. And so I'm going to peel this apart here in a second and you can see it leaves like little bits of melted plastic, but the texture to me reminded me of what a scale would have on it. Here's a, a good video bit to show you the versatility of the hot knife. Uh, the back spines for the Hellhound was an incredible challenge. <laughs> And so it allowed me to just kind of carve away kind of like whittling wood because each of these scales had to be made individually. And in a pinch, the, the hot knife also is good for detail work because I needed to keep the texture on the scales and I realized that those spines were still too tall. I was able to just kind of pop in and just kind of burn the sides and just make it perfect.
the slide is really good for like if you're making molding or some long straight pieces or cutting channels out for your PVC. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video review and uh, thanks Hotwire for thinking of me. It was a kick butt product. I love it. My new fave. <laughs> Thank you. Take care.